What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. Oh, man, we about to go live on this one. We about to go live on this one this evening, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm going to give y'all a few minutes to go ahead and get all huddled up in this good old live chat we about to have with the special guests. Pretty sure y'all know who it is already. 20 signs money is coming to you. 20 signs money is coming to you. I don't know about y'all, but I like to talk about a lot of things. I like to discuss a lot of different things. But one of the things that I like to discuss the most that nobody ever wanted to discuss for me growing up, you know, as a matter of fact, most of us probably, you just like me, most of us were taught to not talk about this let's keep it quiet don't say nothing about this you know and usually that was taught to us by people who really didn't have a lot of this money okay so um as chosen ones star seeds spiritual people whatever you want to call it i personally believe that it's imperative that we learn how to love money rather than being afraid of it so we can attract it into our lives and that's why in this video me and my special friend mark halton we're going to give y'all 20 ways 20 signs i'm sorry that money is coming to you okay you probably got money coming to you right now and you don't even know it you don't even know the signs okay but listen just like everything just just like how like when the leaves fall off the trees, that's a sign that winter is coming. <laughs> there are signs that money is actually coming your way as well. Okay. So again, we about to give y'all 20 or 20 plus signs inside this video. Me and my friend, Mark Halton, uh, that money is coming to you. And hopefully one of these signs resonates with you and we can confirm it for you that money is coming to you. So we're not going to waste no time because it's 20 signs. It's going to be a really extensive video. Uh, again, folks, this is a super live chat. So if you want to make comments or send reactions or whatever, just comment in the comment section. I can see all your comments. And again, just hold off with the questions because uh, me and Mark about to dive into this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce y'all to Mark. For those of you who don't know him, man, he's a... He's a law of attraction, money manifestation, lotto guru. You know, he, he <clears throat> he's manifested winning the lottery so many times, man. He can't even count on his fingers. I can't even remember. I just, every time I see his channel flash, you know, it's something about the lottery. And, you know, this guy is awesome. He's good at what he does. I remember one time I was in uh, Las Vegas and I was one of the winners, win some uh, slot machines or whatever. I called up Mark and he told me step by step what to do in order to win on a slot machine. Lo and behold, I lied to you not. After I got off the phone with him and walking the grid, I went to the slot machine that was talking to me, as he said, dude. I won like $300 that day in Las Vegas. Yep, I won like $300. Thanks to Mark, man. So this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes down to money, attracting it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him introduce himself, man. And I'm gonna just shut up for a second. Mark, what's going on, bro? Hey, how you doing, man? How's everything? Cooling, man. We've been waiting to see you. Oh, good, 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 good. Good to see everybody here. Yeah, so you've been, um, you've been, uh, manifesting money for everybody on your channel? Well, yeah, you know, every, teaching everybody how to do it and um get it themselves that's 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 the goal that's the um the power of our minds when we can tune in we will tune out and get more abundance in so manifest money attract money whatever it is anything you want to create you can do it you can attract manifest money attract success health wealth anything is all in the same paradigm system right so just like attracting health attracting a specific person into our lives you know whatever we want to track we can do that with money also right exactly the thing you see well the thing about money is money okay so let me tell you the, the root of money it's your attention your attention is your currency what you pay attention to 
it creates a whole bunch of stuff, including money. So if you could put your attention on what you'd like to feel, or what the money can bring to you, you'll bring more than enough money for you to live to live the life that you desire. So, nice. you know, one of the one of the signs you ask about what are the 20 signs Here's the first sign you got to use. It's about questioning your subconscious, something like, why do I have more than enough money to live the life I desire? Why am I a money magnet? How would it make me feel to have such and such in my bank account? That will initiate your subconscious mind to create the money for you. First of all, you got to love yourself and to love money. There's nothing wrong with love and money. Money is a tool. Listen to this. A lot of people are woke, but being woke and broke ain't the combination you want to be at. You want to be right. woke and prosperous. Right. I noticed that about a lot of woke people or, you know, that's why I always say like spiritual people or whatever. Um, it's like they got all this information and this knowledge, but they don't got no money. <laughs> they don't never got no money. You'd be like, you'd be like, what the money? I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's true. It's a, I don't know. It's a cliche about being spiritual. We associate being spiritual without having abundance. You got to stop that. The universe is an abundant place. You desire money or you need money to fulfill your purpose. If you're going to teach and spread knowledge like you and I are doing, it takes money to do that. It takes money yeah. to create content, to pay creators, to your products, to pay people to do. So it's the more money you can circulate for everyone, it comes back to you. So it does take money and you have to understand that you deserve to manifest abundance. Whether it's winning the lottery, you can win the lottery as part of it, like you did with the casino, because it's all within your mind. The world, the world is mental, man. The world isn't a physical stuff. It's a mental world. And if you can imagine what it's like, then you can you can bring it in easily. Sorry about that, Mark. Um, so what was the first sign again? I forgot. The first sign, I'll, okay. I'm gonna give you two signs right now. And we can go back and forth. The first sign, if you want to bring money into your life, you have to use the, what we call the ask formations. You got to speak out aloud in a question form. You know, why do I have more than enough money to live the life I desire? Why am I a money magnet? How would it make me feel to have $1,000 in my bank account? What would my life look like with an extra $10,000 in my bank account? How different would my life be having X and X amount of money in my bank account? You start to do that then money will start to come into you because opportunities come in. The second sign for money is you get money coming to your way to manifest abundant money is how you dress. The clothes you wear signifies whether su what success is. Remember now, we are all programmed to, to notice what success is. So when, right. when we were a kid, when we see somebody in a suit and tie or we see somebody in a nice shirt and chain and a nice watch, whether it's fake or real, it doesn't matter. Your subconscious don't know the difference. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Man, that person looks wealthy. Yeah. So if you dress like that, you're going to feel better. You're going to raise your vibration. Your subconscious mind is going to say, oh, we're wealthy. So it's going to create more opportunities for you to bring wealth into your life. So those are two signs right off off bat right there that you can you can start to implement now. <clears throat> yeah, dressing. Dr dressing like money. You know what I'm saying? Just just dressing like money. Um. I know for me, Mark, like, you know, I'm not all about like I used to be when I was younger. You know, I used to always go out and spend my money on a bunch of clothes and stuff like that. But now I'm a little right. bit more frugal um, because I understand that it's not about trying to look better than anybody anymore. But it's more so about trying to trying to give off a vibration of like prosperity. You know what I mean? Because and, and I noticed that, man, like if you look good. And you go out to these public places and stuff like that, you will literally attract people that have probably way more money than you have. But the only reason why they're attracting themselves to you is because you look like money. You dress like money. Exactly. See, it's about you. Do things that make you feel wealthy. That will bring more money and abundance to your life. Right. Um <clears throat> Also, by the way, y'all, um, speaking of like dressing like money, that also could tie into like just 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 anything that helps you radiate the vibe that you on a money frequency. Like for instance, my car is dark green, you know, and uh -huh. I've had many cars, but for some strange reason, 
the dark green car gets the got the most compliments I've ever heard in my life. And I know it's only because money is green and my car is green. That's I know exactly why that people say that. So like you said, Mark, like people are naturally attracted to whatever appears to look like success. Yes. That 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 is perfectly said. And you know, a third sign that we can you can look for too is when the universe starts to talk to you when you see the numbers like the eights or the sevens that means money is coming to you that it means you must be doing something right you're either visualizing or doing uh your affirmations you're meditating the correct way because when you see eights it's a sign of infinite abundance so the universe is speaking to you and manifesting more money into your life nice number eights Look, we got 88 eight, likes eight. right now. We we can't make this up. Yeah. 88 likes wow. right now. And he there just is. said the number eight. So I can't make this up. I can't make yeah, this the, up. Mark can't make number this eight, up. Number seven. Those are signs. Also, the next, the next sign if you want to manifest money is your ability to imagine. Can you visualize what it would look like? Can you write down in the present tense, what it would feel like or what the process is to have what you want. So when you do those, you're going to start to become a money magnet. The, the, the thing is, you got to get your brain into the abundance mode. Right, right. Constantly. all it, It's happening all times throughout the day, right, Mark? All times throughout the day. Your brain is a what okay the best analogy your brain is a filtering machine your brain is looking watching seeing what you're thinking and talking about the most so what your brain does your brain will say all right i'll give you an example if you are always focusing on the lack of like man i don't have enough money it ain't gonna I'm work broke. My, yeah, it ain't going to work, my bills. Oh, so you man. know what your brain does now? Your brain says, okay, so this is our currency. Remember, your attention is your currency. So your brain says, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. There's always more money and infinite opportunities out there, but you don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink your reality and only show you what you've been telling me, which is what you don't want. So you won't see any opportunities for money even though they may be right next to you. You won't see any opportunities. You only see the opportunities of lack. Because the thing i got to tell you about your brain, people, your brain don't care about positive or negative. If you think positive, it'll give you positive. If you think negative, it's going to give you negative. When you think negative, your brain's not going to come to you and say, hey, this is wrong. Let's think positive. Your brain is a processing machine. It's just looking for information. Yep. What it sees the most, it's going to give you as your experience. Wow. Man. That's just how it works. Man. And, you know, picking up on what you just <laughs> said, uh, man, it took me a long time to, to notice that about myself because, Mark, uh, you know, I used to, I was taught in in lack. Like, worry about bills. You can't pay, You got to be able to pay that. You can't afford that. That costs too much. This is too expensive. We can't go there. It's going to cost a lot <laughs> yeah. of money. To, like, and I used to think in that mindset all the time. And I couldn't understand why I was always broke until I actually did my research and understood that I kept thinking in lack. So the universe was only creating a well, just diminishing all of my abundance around me, so so I can get the get the um, results that I kept thinking. That see, that's a great point. And let me let me talk about another sign. I think number five. We're on five or something. Look yep. at this. The thing you gotta understand is this: when we're talking about manifesting or attracting money or abundance in your life, get it? People think, oh, a millionaire, a billionaire. No, no, no. You have to start with how much money is good for your belief. You may start off like, well, I only want $1,000. I believe I can get 5000 I can believe I get 10000 Maybe some other individuals are on a higher belief level. Maybe they can get 100000 a million. So stick with your belief first. Just don't jump out the gun. I want a million dollars. You know why? Because you're, you don't believe it. Your mind doesn't believe that yet. So start 
to, to a sign for you to get more money is to start what's comfortable for you. If you say, well, I could see $500, then you move it up. You have to build your beliefs up for your brain to bring it in. So there's a stereotype out there, a stigma that, you know, especially when it comes to the lottery too, you know, people say, well, Mark, you know, I want to win 200 million. I want 300 million. The first question is, do you believe you can do that? Oh, I don't know, but people do it all the time. <laughs> well, reality works in two ways. The natural form of reality is what we call luck and probability. Yeah. That's why someone could luck up and win the lottery. Yeah. But when you're, you're deliberately creating this stuff, so it's another reality where you're 100% guaranteed to get it. So if you're going to do it that way, build your belief. Be what you're comfortable with. So work with your mind. And then you will always, the thing about this, you will always have just enough money to always be smooth sailing. And then you can level up and level up, whatever that means for you. If you're a thousand dollars, a millionaire, whatever, but you, for you, you will always have just enough for you where you won't struggle and be looking like, yeah. oh man, I gotta find money to pay my bills. This is what it's all about. You gotta convince your mind that I will always have more than enough for me. Yeah. Then that moves you up to the bigger levels, to the hundreds of thousands, and yeah. then eventually to the millions of dollars. If yeah. that's what you want, so you have to know that first. You just don't jump off and say, oh man, I'm gonna get a million dollars, and you never had. $500 in your bank account. Man. It's not going to work like that. Man, that's amazing. Um <clears throat> I'm going I'm to throw in a sign, too. I guess we're just going to keep going with different signs until the video comes to an end. But um, yeah. with that being said, Mark, one of the, another way that you know money is coming to you is when you get into a mindset to where you're not always stressing about money all the time. You're not stressing about it. Um. You yes, know, you, you you know you in a money mindset, like when you can literally go and get gas, no matter how much gas goes up or down, and you're like, I want to fill my tank up, swipe, okay? You go back to the gas station again, you're not looking at the gas station like, I mean, not the gas station, but the gas prices like most people, well, how much is it? Because how, how when you look at the gas prices like that, you're thinking in lack, like, I can't afford it. And remember, right. like Mark said, the more your subconscious mind records you doing stuff like that, it'll always right. give you the result to when you pull up at the gas station, you don't even have enough money to buy gas. But if you want to be right. in a money mindset, if you want to have abundance and make more money come to you, you don't worry about the price tag. Who I mean, I mean, who worries about the price tag in my Nicki Minaj voice? That's how you manifest money. You know what I'm saying? Stop stressing about money. Correct. That is a beautiful point. That's a well said point right there. Don't stress. Be blessed. Okay, another here's a, here's another sign you, to, to for you to have money. Stop doubting and worrying about how you're going to get your abundance. If you if you stop doubting and worrying about how and then just start visualizing of seeing it in the end you'll automatically have more money because what you're doing is you're all you're doing people guys you're training your mind and your brain to see what is relevant for you and based on what you train your brain because reality is a mental world your brain will bring opportunities around you and bring people in that will give you the opportunity to manifest more money in abundance it's all about the li listen there's a big stigma they're teaching you out there that um you have to work hard you have to find the right connections. You have to already have money. You already know it doesn't work like that. Everything is coming through you. You have to give yourself permission. You got to feel you deserve it. And you got to expect it. And you got to stop thinking about how it's going to come. Mm -hmm. And if you start to do that, that's when the opportunities are revealed to you. Because what you don't realize is it's not your regular mind that's in charge. It's your subconscious Conscious mind. mind which is highly, highly intelligent, more intelligent, mm -hmm. billions of times more intelligent than your conscious mind. Right. Folks, and if you don't believe what Mark just said is true, test it, test it after this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to test your subconscious mind. Listen, just after this video, try to get yourself in the highest money mindset that you possibly can. Like literally feel like a millionaire. Like. A hundred percent. It only take 10 minutes to get into this mindset. And you just, you feel like a millionaire. I can guarantee you right after you get into that feeling, the universe mm -hmm. is going to make stuff happen in your life 
that you experience as if you was a millionaire and you're going to be like, whoa, how did I do this? Because your, your subconscious mind is the one that's actually controlling the future from present to future. So if you can keep yourself in the feeling of money is coming your way and it, it is, it's always coming uh -huh. our way. So if money is always coming our way, then you just, you, ex, you expect it naturally because that's who you are. You just naturally expect it. Good point, Mark. Yeah. Well, you know what? You made a great point about the, you say in the future and the thing, uh, there's a thing in quantum physics called ca uh, causality where you can actually, by, by observing something, you actually force the universe, right? To pick a side. Basically what happens is you can actually go back into the past and you can change the past into the present. And the reason why is this, because it shows you time is an illusion. The past, the present and the future are all the same coordinate. But say, for example, if you, if you're in a, your life right now is where you don't have much, much abundance. So you're always focusing on the lack, right? You can't help it because you're seeing it around you. What you can do now, if you just start to think of abundance, like visualize it, you actually now will force the universe to rewrite your past and bring it into the present of a new abundant reality. Wow. That's powerful. Did, did y'all understand That's real that? stuff. That's real <laughs> stuff in quantum mechanics. Wow. Pause, Mark. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let their mind wrap around what you just said. If you in here right now and you know money is coming your way, give this video a thumbs up. Okay. I just need to know who's in here, who showed up for this video. Give this video a thumbs up right now, man. If you're a big Mark Halton fan. Get this video a thumbs up right now, okay? Before we go into the next few signs, and we got 20 signs, okay? We not even halfway done yet. I would need to get this video up to 200 likes, okay? So just press like. That's all you got to do. Just press like, okay? Um, 20 signs. Money is coming your way. We giving you the signs that prosperity is coming your way. It's coming, folks. If you're watching this video right now, I don't care how much money you got in your bank account. Money is coming your way. It's coming. You in the frequency right now, okay? Your subconscious mind is being geared to the right radio station, a.k.a. the right frequency, okay? So right. the reason why you're here right now, maybe somewhere in your day-to-day, -day, you was thinking, I'm going to get money. Well, listen, this is the money right here. This is a part of the manifestation. So if you feel what I'm saying right now and you agree that money is coming to you and money is coming your way, just get this video a thumbs up right now. We need to get it up to 200 likes. I got my brother Mark Halton on here, the master lottery manifester, man. This guy's all over the Internet, and I'm just so pleased to have him back on the channel again, man. So um with that being said mark you got another sign that yeah. people should know that money is coming yeah. their way all right so yeah let's 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 let me show you something first before because i could tell you the signs but you got to know how they work understand them so that you can believe them so they can come to you because i i could we could sit here and just throw signs at you and they'd be like these guys talking a bunch of bs how you know I, I do this do that what evidence what's the proof of it so let me break it down and show you something all right so let's talk about our five senses right we got what? Seeing, smelling, Tasty, touching, touching yeah. hearing, and tasting. Okay? Five senses. So when you look around your world and it looks real to you, what you're actually seeing is energy. Energy that vibrates so low that that's how our senses are able to pick up it and it looks like reality to us. So that's what reality is. It's just the energy vibrates so low that our five senses pick it up. Now, reality is beyond our five senses. Reality is infinite. We only see about 1%. So our five senses are very limited. So that means there's so much more going on around you that we can't pick up because we just don't have to, all the senses to do that. So let's talk about one of your senses that's the most powerful sense you can use to bring more money into your life. And it's the sense of smelling. So what you can do, first of all, money has a unique smell. Take a yeah. dollar, you smell it. It smells, it's a unique smell. So you can either smell money right before you go to bed. That gets into your subconscious mind as a normal part of your routine. You can do that. 
Or you can do any, you can do something else. You can take your cologne or your perfume and you could pick a cologne and you can spray the cologne. And then when you smell your cologne or perfume, you outwardly or speak out loud and say, hmm, you know, every time I put this cologne on, I always get hundreds, five hundred dollars. I always make more money in my mm -hmm. sales when I spray my cologne. You know, yeah, every time yeah. I go to work and I spray my cologne, man, my sales go up. Yeah. You have just programmed yeah. your subconscious mind yeah. to bring you more money. Yeah. That's Ooh. a big sign you can use right there. And you can do that right now. And it'll start to work immediately. So so what sense, Mark, will help you know that money is coming to you or attract more money into your life? When you start to smell and you take certain things and give it a label and you smell it and you label it, money will start coming to you. For those of you who got pets out there, all right, one of your pets' greatest senses is smell. Okay, God made them do, be that way for a reason. All right, so yeah, I Mark, I know for a fact. Like I have one particular cologne that's my favorite cologne. Yeah. I try not to wear. I only wear it when I want to attract money people into my life. All right, um, for those for my fellas out there, it's called Cree Imperial in a gold bottle. Man, when I spray that on Mark, I smell like money. Listen. It's, it smells good, yeah. it smells like money so good it's so rich mm -hmm. in scent bro I went into I didn't even have it on I went into my closet and I was just uh -huh. in there trying to uh hang up some of my clothes I smelled the scent on one of my shirts from that I wore last week I'm like what's that smell man that smell good and I didn't even know it was the cologne that I wore last week that smelled like money so folks he ain't lying. Get your favorite perfume, your favorite scent, spray it on you, man. Spray it on you. And it's going to make you become a money magnet instantly. Exactly. That, yeah, because everything comes, everything comes through us to our subconscious mind. You know, it's, we live in a mm -hmm. quantum world, a quantum universe. So you, the smells, when you smell something, the particles in the smell, they go into your brain and they can actually fuse in the brain. Uh, classes that as a normal routine that's why you're able to smell food you're able to smell this your brain classifies it stays in the brain and then same thing with money because it's all energy it's all the same thing right so um folks here's another sign that money is coming your way i know this might sound crazy but it's true it really is true when you are not jealous of anybody else money will come your way it will come your way because you again you automatically feel like you can get anything you want you just as good as the person who actually yeah. is shining or who looks to be doing good with their life you're not even jealous because right you feel already like hey, okay they getting this i get mine too <laughs> you know what i'm saying right so uh you know, jealous people operate from a sense of lack because they're like, I don't have what they have or look at them Correct. and look at me. I don't have that. And, or, you know, but when you when you that when you that do, when you that do, it don't matter if a yes. guy driving in a Maybach. It don't matter who he is. You see him in that Maybach. You're like, OK, cool. Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Peace. Because <laughs> yeah. you you know you can get the same thing he get. You know money is coming your way. You know money comes to you just as much as it goes to him. So the, again, the the subconscious mind is recording how you feel when it comes to seeing other people who are actually prosperous. Well said. That's that's great. That's excellent. And another sign here is gratitude if you are grateful for what you already have you will continue to be get more of what you already have but on a higher level the gratitude expands your brain to see more opportunity wow. when the brain sees more opportunity that means more money more abundance so people think that oh but i don't have a lot be, yeah you just be grateful for that it's, it's, people think like because they don't want to practice gratitude because they think like, well, 
if I'm grateful for this, for what I have, which is not a lot, the universe is going to give me more of the same. No, it doesn't work. Like that. If you're grateful for a little, the universe gives you a lot. That's how the universe, the universe works like this. The more you're grateful for, yeah. the yeah. more you get back. The yeah. more you give out, the more you get back in return. The yeah. more you give away, the more you get back in more and more. That's how the universe works. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't hold back. It's, it, it, what they what taught you that is it's wrong. The yeah. more you give, the more you receive. Yeah. Yeah. The universe. That's another sign. The, the uni that's another sign. Like he said, like the, if you got four pairs of jeans and two pairs of shirts, the universe don't care. If the universe see, see you treating that those four pairs of pants and those two shirts like it's the best thing you ever had it's just only gonna give you more clothes it's that simple if you got a car you don't want exactly and a car ain't even uh which a luxury car or nothing like that you wash it every day it's clean it smell good the universe gonna say oh well let me upgrade this person and get them a better model of that car the universe gonna give you a better model of a better car that's how it works folks 100%. And here's another sign that you, money's coming your way. If you are more of a optimistic person than a pessimistic person, if you always see the glass half full instead of half empty, more money will come to you. Because again, you are programming the universe to see more opportunity. The universe is like an algorithm. It goes on what you're focusing on. Remember, what's your currency, your money is your attention. Remember this, my, my attention is my currency. So if you're like thinking good all the time and just thinking positive, even when something is not working in your favor, you're always saying, well, you know what? I don't know how it's going to work out, but I know it's going to work out for me because things always work out for me. If you say something like that, you're an optimist. You become optimistic. Then the universe now has no choice but to respond back to you because, again, the universe doesn't care about – what you your like your feelings or it's it, all it wants is the information you're putting out. It's yeah. looking at the vibration and it says, "I'm going to put this together and yeah. I'm going to it's going to form either money, people, yeah. situation." That's yeah. all it's doing. So the power is always in your hands. Yep. Yeah. So you go out with your friends. It's five or six of y'all. And you know how it be. People be scared to pull their card out when the tab comes. <laughs> who going to do it? Who going to do it? <laughs> okay. Everybody who thinking who going to do it, who going to, them going to be the people that ain't going to manifest. No money, ain't no money coming their way. The person that's, that's going to have more money coming their way is going to be the person that whipped the card out of the fast. I got it. Here. Here you go. I'll pay for all y'all. It's good. That's the person wow. in the room right there that's going to get more opportunities for more money because the universe just recorded that this person does not give a flick about paying wow. for his friend's tabs. Wow. You know, Trent, you just said something very powerful, too. And that's that's another sign I was going to talk about. You just said the other sign, which is <clears throat> you freely pay your bills before the due date or whenever you have. Don't wait for the last minute to do it. Because then you're putting in a lack. Yep. You're telling the universe, I don't know where it's going to come from. That's why I'm holding off till the end. You just pay them out. You circulate them out. Now you're telling the universe, I expect more and I always have more. So if you have something, your, your bill or whatever, and you got it, pay it now. Pay it ahead. Don't wait for the last minute. Don't hold on to the money. Money yes. is made to circulate. Yes. You can't go. You can't take money with you when you go. You can't take <laughs> so, it. You got to circulate the money to get more money. People think like, well, I got I, it's, man, it's my security blanket. You're just yeah. training your mind to be more in a what we call protective lack mode, scarcity yep. mindset. Scarcity. No, listen, I'm not telling you to go splurge and spend all your money like your rent money on. That's what I'm saying to you. I'm just saying it's the mindset to know that if I have it, I want it, I'll circulate it. I know it's coming. That's what that's the mindset. It's not like a careless thing. It's just the mindset that, hey, it's I'm always open and more is always going to come to me. So I don't feel bad about circulating money. Dang, that's a big sign. If did you want to so start practicing hear, that. Did y'all just hear what he just said? Mark Halton, listen, I'm gonna just recap what he said. Mark Halton just basically said. If money is coming your way and you want more money to come your way, he said, don't wait till the last minute to pay your bill. Pay it way before it's due. Pay it up three months ahead of time. 
don't hold on to the money <laughs> to the last minute. Nope. nope, don't do that because you remember, guys, you're training and your uh, your mind is the mind that brings you this money. It's not like your regular mind. It's it doesn't think like your mind. Your regular mind says, "I mean, I gotta hold this on." If you know you have to pay it, and you have it set aside, but you're just waiting for the last minute. You have it, but you're waiting for the last minute. Your mind's saying, yeah, let's just wait, man. You know, anything could come up, da 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 Okay, what you don't understand is you're training your subconscious mind to bring more lack, to just make you have it at the last minute. You're always going to be in a deficit. You're always right. going to be there. But if you just, like, f spread it out, let it go. And look, this, and this leads me to the next sign. It's not only money. If you have knowledge or information and you're spreading it out freely, that will also bring you money. Mm. Knowledge and information is currency because someone will hear something, they'll change their life, and they'll go out and they'll make more money based on what you just said or te taught them. A yep. bing will go off. So mm -hmm. you train in your mind to see that it's always open. The channel is always open. When you're holding mm -hmm. on, you're training your mind to say the channel is sometimes closed and sometimes open. You don't want sometimes closed. You want, you want a consistent flow of it. And that's to your subconscious mind. So your subconscious mind will watch everything you do, and it's illogical. Remember, it can't think like your mind, so you have to give it exactly what you want to receive. Exactly. Wow. Just, just good stuff. Um, for those who tuned in or just now tuning in, man, we are live. This your big bro, Trend Genius, and my good friend from a long time, Mark Halton, Master Money Manifester uh lottery manifesto whatever you want to call him um he's helped so many people win lottery and stuff if you just listen to his listen to his philosophies it will go a long way um and again um folks mark has written a book uh what is it called yeah. mark i have it right here it's my book it's um how to win the lottery using quantum physics nice. uh this you can get this amazon it's on amazon or you can get the ebook and i also have the audiobook so it's actually yeah. been a bestseller since uh, yeah. last August on Amazon. So this is more. This is not. It's it's more than the lottery. It can show you. It show you all the principles to if you want to manifest the lottery, how to do it on a manifesting t tip, and basically just how to reality works and how to get what you want and how to manifest more money, whatever it is you want to manifest. It's all in. It's all in that book. So. Mark, can um, we see the book again? Can we, man? That's, yeah, that's yeah. Here, here's the book. Here's the book. It's the. This is oh, the man. Amazon copy right here. Get man. it on Amazon. Oh my god! And then man. you guys, I have the uh, ebook, or you can get the audio version. And of course, Trent, I'll give Trent all the information, and you can yeah. go get it there. But I, I highly recommend this book because number one, it teaches you the principles and it shows you step by step and how the universe works and how to implement stuff to whether to win the lottery. And you could take the same principles and use it to manifest more stuff in your life. So yeah, the thing, the thing we got to understand too, guys, is that. What is money, though? Right, right. What is money? So, for you to manifest money, you got to know what money really is. Money is just what, what exchange for goods or services. Remember now, we invent money. Money isn't a part of what we call the universe. It's something we made up. So, if we make we make up money, where does money come from? Energy. So, if we now start to think ourselves, okay, what what can I exchange for goods or services? You know what it is. All you have to do is just say that you deserve it. Once you say you deserve it, that's another sign. By giving yourself permission that you deserve abundance, you will automatically attract more money because now you're saying to the universe and to the subconscious that I am able and willing to manifest these things because they are a part of me. Therefore, they have to flow through me and they will start to see more opportunities. The reason why I look, the reason why a lot of people push abundance away from them and money away from them is not because they don't want it. They want it on a conscious level. It's a fact that on a subconscious level, they don't feel they deserve it because they see their parents struggle. They see how money is tight and they remember growing up. Yeah. So they say to themselves, I'm going to go and work hard to get the money. Yeah. Uh, but all along, they always go up and down because in their subconscious, it still says, I don't deserve it. That's why people sabotage themselves so much. That's why they'll get some money and then they'll lose it again and get it again and lose it again because they're battling between the conscious and the subconscious. Yep. So to fix it, give yourself permission and say you deserve it. Start to work on your subconscious that you deserve it with visualizing, 
scripting, affirmations, subliminals, those will start to write the blueprint in your subconscious and you'll yeah. always have more than enough money to live your life. Yep. Man, I know I'm I'm going to give me about four or five copies of that book. <laughs> Tell you. Because I already know I'm yes. going to mess the pages up from reading them so much. So, um, yes. hey, folks, if y'all want Mark Halton's new book, I'm going to post it in the description section of this video and also at the top of the comment section of this video uh like an hour and a half after so you're gonna have to come back to this video then go to the link and then get his book um from amazon and, and then, uh, it's completely inexpensive i think right how much yeah. how much is mark 109 dollars uh, like yeah like 18 bucks and um <laughs> 18 bucks something like that from amazon but you know what the, th the thing is the thing is uh with this with this book you know, okay, I usually, I'm not like a person, I like just like, like go sell, go buy this. I'm not into that. But this book is really valuable because it has a lot of principles in there about how this stuff works. So it, this book will be, this book will be like your, your tool. Every day you, you carry this book with you, you read it, it gets your mind set and you know how to put in the information to make it work. So it's a book about, and it's, written, and it's written very, just like I'm talking to, plain stuff so you can understand it. And it's more about implementing it. It's information, but it's information you can implement. So it's just like you're just reading, oh, okay, da, 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 okay. It's a read and do, read mm -hmm. and do. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> folks, in other words, listen, the more you keep, and this is what I learned over time because I used to be scared to talk about money. Hell, I used to be scared yeah. to check my bank account. Like, I ain't looking yeah. at it now. I ain't even going to press the, <laughs> the bank account icon because I know I ain't got no money. I used to be scared of that. But now, I like to talk about money. I like to hang out with people like Mark to talk about money. I like to read books about money. I'm not afraid of it anymore because I know in order for me to get more of it, I have to create a relationship with it. It's just like a committed relationship with somebody that you love. If you don't communicate a lot, you're not going to fall in love and be in love with each other, period. Same oh, thing with anything in life like money. If you don't That's have a relationship with money and you hate it, it's going to hate you. Man, that's well said, Trent. You just said another sign. Mm -hmm. Money will treat you the way you treat money. Yep. Just think about it. Let, let's let's okay. Let's bring money down to a person. I'm gonna show you how you can do this, because it, it it technically has a personality. Money will be attracted to people who are optimistic, open-minded. Money will be attracted to people who are willing to let the money go to come. You ever hear that saying? When you, if you really love somebody and let them go, they come back, they're really yours. That's the same thing. But if it's the same thing, if you have a, in a relationship, you're trying to hold on to your partner, you're trying to, they're going to run away. Or you're, they're going to feel trapped. It's like you, you're trying to force something. It's the same you're thing with money. To force it. You let it, you let it go. It comes back to you. That means you have to have a good relationship with money. What's the good relationship? You have to respect money like you respect someone else. That means you don't want to like squander it all out. You have to understand. What else you got to do uh, to money? You have to what? Deserve money. So you deserve money. You have to love money. That, that's religion mess so many people up, man. Because mm -hmm. religion says that. Oh, the root of love it. That's all BS. The mm -hmm. universe don't work like that. So as I said, you have a choice. You can be woke and broke, or mm -hmm. you can be woke and prosperous. Do yep. all realities exist? So it's up to you, but the first thing you have to get out of the old mindset that, oh man, I can't, I can't love money. It's not good to have money. I got to be humble. Yes, you got to be humble. Humble, mm. humility is good, but you also have to love money because, yep. guys, money is a tool that mm -hmm. you use to enhance your life. Mm -hmm. It helps you to do things in your life. That's all you got to do is just love the tool. It's okay, it's a tool, yeah. and then more, more money will come to you. That's the mm -hmm. first. That's I think that's that's the biggest sign. Yeah. All the signs. You've got to be able to love money, not to the point where you get greedy or obsessive, yeah. just to the healthy relationship to know that this will be a tool that helps me to help myself and other people. That's what I'm talking about. Love money like that. Preach, Mark. Preach. Everybody who loves money right now, just, just say, I love money. Comment in the comment section right now and get this video a thumbs up if Mark is resonating with you. 
Make sure y'all go to subscribe to his channel, y'all. Just type in Mark Hart and he'll come up. Type, I love money right now. Put some dollar yeah. sign emojis in it. Let's get this money, man. Come on, man. I ain't, I'm tired of people speaking broken knees. Hey, Mark, I feel you on that yeah. relationship stuff. And anybody pressuring yeah. me to get a relationship with them, I'll be like, I don't even think I want to be hey, right? with you. Yeah, exactly. They're I don't like, even think, I just desperate. back away from that. I don't even want to, you yeah. pressuring me, I don't even want to, because you acting like you desperate, like you don't normally got ah, me on a regular basis. You said the key word. Desperate, man. When you yep. when you pressure somebody, it's desperate. What, what is desperation? Yep. Push away. Same thing with money. Mm -hmm. If you you got you to gotta make the money want you. Hey, listen, this next sign. Make mm -hmm. the stuff want you. So uh, you know how to make something want you? Here's very simple. Whatever you're seeking is seeking you. If you want something, if you want to make something want you, all you have to do is stop applying the pressure. Stop needing and pushing. Just allow and expect with faith that wow. it must come to you. That's when it flows to you. Faith, a big sign. Faith is the most powerful active force that you can use to manifest money because faith comes beyond the logic. Faith is in a realm of higher consciousness. Faith means, I don't know how, but I, I don't know when, yes. but I know it's coming. That alone will bring it to you. If you don't have that, you're not going to, whatever you do, if you don't have faith, you're not going to be successful in your life. Yeah, you have yeah. to apply faith. You got to do that. You and why faith. not? Because now you're not a universe world. The universe works with the unseen forces, not the seen forces. Yep. Faith is one of the most powerful unseen forces. Faith without works is dead. Listen, exactly. there you go. And, and yep. folks, that's why I be telling y'all, listen, you probably say, well, Trent be talking about the money vortex. Listen, it's a, it's a secret. I'm about to tell y'all the secret. Mm -hmm. People that bought my money vortex in the past, when they send me their testimony, they don't even really got to apply nothing that I said in the money vortex. It's just that the universe wanted to see if they would take a risk of faith in getting into the money vortex then that door opened, and for some strange reason, they got a $10,000. Or well, for some strange reason, they got a check in the mail for $500. For some strange reason, you know, some company told them that they owed them X amount of dollars. All because they got into the mindset of the money vortex. You see what I'm saying? That's the secret behind money coming to you. If you can circulate money as if i know i'm getting more of it as soon as i get my money vortex i know i'm gonna get more, more more of it because i'm vortexing it i'm circulating it these people got paid when they got my money vortex and and i was even kind of i started to get jealous but i started to realize well i made the course <laughs> you know but <All> right. <laughs> but i have to say People have turned up with better results than even me, man, like $20,000, $30,000. And I'm just like, God, what is this? And I guess, like I, like Mark said, it's the faith that actually yeah. activates the opportunity to come into your life because you're not thinking, oh, it won't happen. I won't get more money. This won't work if this opportunity ain't going to be no good. It's going to be like all the other opportunities. But if you take the risk and you take the leap of faith, more money will come to you just like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like getting Mark book. If you got Mark book, even though we don't know what the words in the book are going to be talking about other than money, you know what I'm saying? Even I don't know, and I'm going to still get the book. But just because I, I'm going to have the book with me, probably in here chilling after I read it, just looking at the book is going to make me have more money. Just looking at it. Because remember, folks, money is just an energy. That book is just an energy coming from Mark's mind about everything he know about money and one he just basically transmuted his energy from himself and put it into a book and now he gonna sell it to you for goods and services exchange now you're gonna have Mark in your home and every time you look at Mark energy you're gonna be attracting lottery wins and money and abundance just like Mark what they do yeah. that? At? Oh man! Wow, man! I, you know, I <laughs> never heard it like that, but you put it like that. That's actually correct. <laughs> that was that was brilliant, man. It's actually true. Yeah, yeah, it's actually true. It's about the lottery, manifesting lottery. So, 
um, my wins and my journey and my energy is in this and it'll, it'll rub off on you. And um, it's, it's, it's really powerful because let me, let me show you something. When, you talk, when we talk about money, it, it's not people think love and money. You know, you know what love and money is? Love and money is being able to release money. Love and money is not holding on to the money. So people think, mm -hmm. well, I love money. I got to hold more of my money. No, you're actually resisting money. Love and money is to know that it's a constant circulation. It, right. it means it's not going to, money is not meant to stay, people. Money is meant to circulate. Mm -hmm. We all know this in economics. If you have money sitting in your bank and it's not doing anything, you're not making any money off of your money. It's just sitting there. Maybe the bank, the bank making money off it. of it because they flipping ah. it because you just keeping it sitting in there. <laughs> what you don't understand is when you when you put your money in the bank, the bank takes your money to make more money. Yep. So I'm just showing you the bigger picture that it's just not having money. Yeah, money will be there, but your mindset is okay. Money is meant for me to circulate to bring more abundance. It's not. No, it's, don't get me. Don't listen. I'm not saying that you're gonna go squander your money. You have to be sensible. It's a mindset I'm talking about. The mindset is okay. I understand it's there, and I understand that more is more is gonna come. The more I am able to open and release and circulate, the more will come to me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what that will always. You'll never you'll never be short of supply of money because what you're doing is, guys, the universe is opening a flow for you. It's like a pipe. You know, it's always flowing. But if you start to get stingy and like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't know if I want to spend that. Or, you know, being too frugal, that's another time. It's good to be frugal, but there's a point where you get to be too frugal, what they call too cheap. You're mm -hmm. going to resist money. You know, as I said, you can't take it with you. If it's something you want to do, it's going to make you feel good. Do it. It will mm -hmm. come back to you. That's how you bring more money. But there's so many people like, oh, man, I got to, I don't know how much is that. <laughs> oh, man, I could go in and get somewhere cheaper than that. Yeah. What are you? What? What? What are you doing? What are you? What are you showing the universe? What are you showing your subconscious mind? You're showing your subconscious mind that you're looking for settle for less. Yep. You're always settling. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh my God. If you have it and you want it, get it. Yep. And you're the creator. You're the source of this stuff. It's gonna yep. come back to you, but yep. you gotta exercise the faith, man. Put it to the test. There you go. There you go, man. Mark Halton, the man, the GOAT of Manifest the Money on YouTube. Uh, you just heard it from a man. You just got a million dollars worth of game. Money is coming to you. Mark, uh, somebody said, your skin is glowing, Mark. Your skin is glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's that money. That's that money <laughs> liquid flowing off through his pores. You know what I'm saying? Now look, let, let me say this, all right, guys. Um, all of all of us, all of you guys, you can have whatever you want in your life. You can have all the money you want, all the things you want. So look, there's nothing wrong with desiring or wanting to have more money. So don't ever feel bad about it. Like you know, man, I'm you know I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that guy. Just remember, it's about your life and what makes you feel happy and prosper, not not anybody else's. But we have to remember, though, finances are an important part of manifesting. You, you, the, for what you want to do with your dreams and build your goals, it takes currency, it takes money. So you have to develop a relationship to love and respect it so that you can have more of it. That's the bottom line. There's nothing wrong with wanting more money in your life, especially if you're a spiritual person. We have yep. to break that taboo about being spiritual and just go live in the, the woods and the trees and <laughs> the earth and all that. No, you have to have, as I said, you can be woke or and broke. Or you can be woke and prosperous. The, the right. thing is, when, if, when you're woke, you're supposed to start to be prosperous because you have knowledge that most people don't have. So I think that I think that's a taboo they created to keep spiritual people down in a lack mindset. Say, ah, oh, spiritual people, you're not supposed to have all that money, man. You're supposed to just be nature free and just let the universe da 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 and live off the land. And you can do all of that, but you have to know it takes currency to change your world. And right. you can still be financially good. And go live off the land and do all that stuff too. Remember that. But it's the mindset I'm showing you that you have to be 
able to know that you deserve it it, be, it belongs to you right it's part of your it's part of your life your, your life yep. purpose you came here mm -hmm. to experience abundance you didn't came you didn't come here to struggle yep. struggle is a lack mindset remember this yep. you didn't come to struggle mm. okay you came to be prosperous we came to get money somebody say we got to get money <laughs> yeah hey man exactly there you have it uh mark halton 20 signs money is coming your way mark halton and your big brother wait, wait, Trent, Trent, man i, I, I want to give you guys okay we got 20 but i want to give you guys the number i said the number one sign was a love money right but i want to give you the number number one a one sign about money and here's here's things guys all right money is quantum you are quantum money is a particle that's made from an electron you are a particle that's also an electron so you know what that means you and the money are always entangled not only the money but everything in the entire universe you're entangled with it all you have to do to get that entanglement to produce physical results in your subconscious mind is download in your mind that you are entitled and you deserve money and you visualize in the mind what it would look like to you and the money now is already entangled with you so you already have the money but you're just not experiencing the benefits of the money that's what you want you do that you will start to experience the benefits of the money so remember you are not separated from abundance or money and that's the biggest tip you will ever hear and it's the biggest truth you will ever know or realize and the biggest lie is believing that your present circumstances are hindering you or keeping you from getting money it's not out here that's keeping you from getting money it's in here it's right here correct and i'll give you another one another biggest sign is the another another big lie is you have to work hard you have right. to find the right connections all that is baloney you don't have to do any of that you just got to put your mind to it in the mental world and the your higher mind or higher self will find the how and when and you will always have it yep wow this is good stuff man y'all love this y'all love this message so man we did good mark uh we about an hour in on this video so uh I'm going to just leave it up to y'all, man. I'm going to let y'all put some of this stuff to play. You know, these 20 signs, money is coming to you. Uh, listen, folks, make sure you save this video. Make it your favorites yeah. so you can come back. Let it. It's an hour long. Just let it play while you're taking a shower, while you're getting ready for work, whatever. Man, I be letting this stuff play all the time to get in my subconscious mind. Let it play tonight all over again. Listen. Money is coming your way, man. Big Brother Trend, Mark Halton. Again, folks, come back to this video. Look in the description section, the comment section. You're going to see Mark book link. Um, you're going to be able to purchase this book. Uh, you see my Money Vortex link in the chat as usual. And that's that. Uh, Mark, you have any last final words you want to say before you go? Oh, yeah. One, one more thing, guys utilize subliminals to get more money there are tons of them free on youtube i have them on my channel as well if you listen to money subliminals while you're sleeping the ones that are mask or have a theta state you will always program your subconscious mind and you always have more money as well so there you go you have so many tools so many signs now that you all should be money magnets moving forward you're going to start getting more money watch yeah. keep this video as trend safe if you watch yeah. it every day i guarantee you are you listening again you're going to always have more money because you're always entangling yep. your thoughts become yep. your reality. Yep. Your thoughts become your reality. It is what it is. So good evening. Goodbye to all y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video. Thank y'all so much for giving me thumbs up and me and Mark. 
Um, shouts out to all the people that donated to this super chat live. I don't think anybody did tonight, but it's okay. But we all money manifestors. Um, with that being said, man, these are the 20 signs. Money is coming to you from your big brother Trent and yours truly, Mark Halton. With that being said, man, y'all have a great evening. God bless and get money because it's yours. Yes. Peace. Thank you. Peace.